and use Python 3 because the book's now all Python 3. Is that correct? It is. Yeah. I, I don't yeah. think I wouldn't in, in, advise anybody to start a new project with Python 2, but it's still yeah. helpful to understand Python 2 because there's so much code out there already, hacking code or scripts yeah. that you'll find. And it's just nice to be able to look at those and understand what they're trying to do. So in the book, did all the modules, all the modules that you were using are updated? Is that correct? Um, should, it's all Python 3 or did you have to like go back? Because that's always been the problem. There's so much code out there that's Python 2. It, it, did you find that all the stuff's updated and it didn't make your life too difficult or was it a bit of a nightmare? No, well, I wouldn't say a nightmare, but all of it has been updated except for the part that uses Jython. And that's the Java engine for Python. And that is not, at the time I was writing, it wasn't upgraded to Python 3, and I don't think it is now. But we use that. I think the Python code really would probably work with 2R3 the way, we, the way it is in the book. But that's the only thing that we had to worry about. Everything else has been upgraded. Uh, the last chapter was a huge update in uh, volatility. volatility. Sorry. That's the last chapter of the book. And unlike Justin, I, I, I did that as the last chapter that I wrote um, because I was waiting for them to upgrade their library because they were doing this huge update, rewriting it from, I think, just from scratch. And the, 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 they had had a huge reorganization of code. So when I was finishing the book, they had finished their rewrite. And so I was able to use what was current. So that was the one that was down to the wire. But, but we got it done in time for... Uh, you know, a second edition. That's but all the other that. libraries were fine. Uh, all the other libraries that we use have either been updated or supplanted since uh, the first edition. So everything My is, yeah, right, right up Sorry, to the on. top. They were updated right up to the the moment that we were publishing. My favorite, I would, I must say, just because of my background, I suppose, is these the the net the networking portion, which you do right in the beginning. Um, but I think that's just me being biased from for my background and using Scapy. I um I created some YouTube videos where I'm like inserting writes into BGP using Scapy and I, it was such a nightmare because Scapy seemed to either the documentation or stuff wasn't updated correctly for Python 3. So I think what's great about what you've done here, apart from many things, or in, in, in addition to many things, should I say, is um, you've given code that people could just download and they can download that directly from publishers, all right? Exactly. At nostarch.com, um, they can download the code there and it should work just as it is in the book. Um, so tell, so, sorry, go on. Yeah, I was going to say about the networking, it, the the first real coding chapter where you create a TCP server and it, different things on that level, and it, it seems to be a very popular chapter in making a, a clone of the Netcat tool. And so whether you use Netcat in your work after you read the book or not, you'll understand how Netcat works um, because, you know, you've just created something that does the same thing. And it might not be as flexible as Netcat, but it but you can see the underpinnings of what what that tool is trying to do. Scapy, I liked a lot, and there were that was a, that was a lot of new learning for me. I didn't really know Scapy, and it's that's an impressive library. It, I mean, how did it feel for you coming from like the de developer side now, getting into the networking sort of the lower levels? Was it quite a quite a learning experience? Or um... it definitely was. Yeah, and. I'd say I learned on every chapter, I learned something new, but especially with the networking, because before I was more or less a user of networking tools and I didn't understand how they worked. But when I went through what Justin had did, and obviously when you're, you're teaching it to your students, you, you better be ready for questions. Um, I, I did learn a lot. And especially that, that first real coding chapter when you're making servers and clients and that Netcat replacement and a, and a proxy server as well. There's a ton of stuff in that chapter and it's really, really interesting. And the other one I liked a lot was make when we made our structures to hold an IP packet or an ICMP packet because you're defining down to the bytes of what's going through the net. And so that was really fun for me to see all that stuff that's going on in the network, how it's structured and how we can destructure it in our programs and then get information from it.